Welcome to winter <laughs> yes. in hinterland. Yes. Yeah. Well, I've got a jumper on. I've actually had a cold for about mm, all this week, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we've had a busy time the last couple of weeks because we went to Melbourne, mm. didn't we, a couple mm. of weeks ago? Yeah. And we were there for a week mm. and we worked really hard when we were there. We were helping family with some renovations. We had a couple of nice meals, didn't we? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it was good. It wasn't all work. We had no. a, escaped a couple of times. We yeah. did escape a couple of times, and you've got to give it. Melbourne, you can get some great food in Melbourne, oh, yeah. can't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. My favourite uh, food city, really. Yeah, so we had yeah. a good time in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. So we're going to um, show you a bit of that at the end of this video. And but at the start of this video, we really just want to give you a glimpse of what the hinterland where we live is like in winter. Yeah. And you know, I wouldn't live in anywhere else in the world. Yeah. We have overnight temperatures of mm, eight, nine, 10, At 12 moment, degrees. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then during the day, we have tops of 22, 23 degrees. Brilliant sunny days. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. It's mm. really beautiful. And, um, and so. Still a bit nippy to jump in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> can cool. you see? See, yeah. we've moved our chairs. Look, you're gonna. We're gonna show you the full too. Yeah. It's all finished. Just yeah. about. Just about. Just, yeah. just got to do some exterior painting on and the render. Bit of landscaping. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But um, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Can't, can't wait, wait to jump in. <laughs> still too cold. Twenty three degrees is still too cold for me. Oh, and Matthew has moved to it's Melbourne. Mm. So that was a bit sad this week. Saying goodbye. Bit. He's been here since the very start. Yeah. And Matthew has helped us with the chooks, the bees, yeah, the composting, everything, yeah. the, um, the uh, veggie patch. Yeah, all the heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah. a lot of heavy lifting, mm. a, a, a bit of drainage work, yeah, um, all right. sorts of things he's helped yeah, it's us been with. Fantastic. So, but it's time for him to move on down to Melbourne and uh, now he'll start his new life down there in Melbourne. Yeah. So, good luck, Matthew. We hope you enjoy this video. Yeah. We'll be back to normal this week. We have a bit more time now, don't we? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you know. Not as much washing to do. No, no, yeah. yeah. The house stays All a bit cooking. cleaner. <laughs> yeah, a bit less food to buy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. And we'll take you somewhere nice next week, we promise. Okay, see ya. See ya. Where's the other one? I think she's laying an egg. At Choco's. One, two. They're growing like crazy. And they're so delicious if you steam them, stir fry them, bit of chili pepper. Ta da! Ooh. Hey, Chucky Chucky. You're laying an egg. You're laying an egg. I can give you some sunflower seeds because you're missing out. Everybody else has got them. There you are. Why you sitting there? <laughs> Look, you're all having a drink. <laughs> we have had so many lemons from this fantastic lemon tree, which is really good for my cold. I've been having three to four lemon drinks every day, which is fantastic. Oh. They're beautiful, aren't they? Just take those for the moment. I just take what I need. Have a look at the orange tree, that's amazing. So the thing with orange trees is you try one orange and then if it's fine, you pick most of the tree. That's what they say anyway. 
There we go. I'll try that one today and see if it's okay. And if it is, we'll come out and pick some more on the weekend. Have a look at the banana tree. When we grew, planted the banana tree just a few months ago, it was like that high. Look at it now. It's way taller than us. It's huge. We should get bananas next year. An apple tree. This one. An olive. Yeah, the olive tree and the apple tree. Ah, the pomegranate. That's yeah. going okay. It's going really well. That was about that big yeah. when we planted it. It's had a good season. Everything's had a good season because of all the rain we've had. And now we're in the winter sunshine. It's great. Things are starting to go bare, but that's a great time for us to get on top of the garden, um, you know, really do some harsh pruning, tidy everything up, all ready for spring. Come on, I'll show you something else. The bees were very quiet early when it was foggy, but now the sun's out, they're very active. Luckily in subtropical climates, the bees are fairly active all year round and they're as busy as bees. You can smell the honey, can't yeah, you? Yeah, can. So it won't be long, what, no. a couple of months or something maybe? Two Once months? into spring, I think, we'll um, we'll have enough because we've put the um, top um, box on the flow hive. Yep, the super. The super. And that'll be um, where they store the honey and we'll be able to tap into that probably in spring, I'd say, which is probably mid to late August up here. Probably our most famous Australian native plant blossoms in winter and that's the wattle. And here you can see the wattle. Can you see it up close, the wattle, wattle flower? And this plant will be covered in bloom over the next few weeks. Beautiful bright yellow during winter. So something that we love to do in winter is to get out to the beach and it's 23 degrees it's 3 30 in the afternoon on Friday afternoon and we're at Castaway Beach we've never brought you here before but Castaway Beach is situated between Marcus Beach and Sunrise Beach it's on the north end of the Sunshine Coast very close to Noosa Noosa is only about a five minute drive away anyway it's a beautiful beach it's dog friendly so expect to see a few dogs here and there's parking right on David Low Way and it's an easy walk to get to the beach but so nice to feel that sunshine isn't it come and have a look Wow Castaway Beach has experienced some severe sand erosion due to recent weather events Usually you can just stroll onto the beach, but now there's a significant drop. But having said that, there's still a few people around. And it is beautiful here, I've got to say. It's not cold at all. It's gonna get wet. That's what happens when you don't get out of the way of the waves quick enough. 